to read the fish and the hands. There's the picture. A pot filled with gold coins. You can talk louder. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, a poor man was cutting wood in a forest. One of the trees he cut down was hollow, and inside it he found a huge pot full of gold. Coins, gold coins. The old man danced for joy. Hooray, he cried. Now we can have food, drink, and coals for the winter. But then he remembered something. His wife loved to talk to people. She always told them, the, told the whole village everything that happened in their lives. If everyone knows about this, they will talk and the sheriff will hear that the old man. The sheriff is so greedy, he will surely find a way to take our money. So the old man made a plan. The man hid the pot, walked further into the woods. There he trapped the hare and the fish. He hung the fish at the top of a tree and put the hare in a net in the river. Then he went home and told his wife that he had found a huge pot of gold, said the man to his wife, and we will fetch it together. Now in our old cart, they set off to drive through the forest. As they drove, the man said, do you know, wife, I heard that fish have started to live in trees and hares now live in the rivers? It's all changed nowadays. Is that true, said his wife? And she started to look around. Suddenly she said, look, there's a fish in that tree there. Is there a picture? There's a picture. <laughs> they drove on a little further and then the woman saw the hare. She was too far away to see the net. So she said, and look, there's a hare in the river. What wonders we have seen. After that, the old man and his wife collected the huge pot. They covered it up with sacks and drove home. Of course, they were very happy to have so much money, but soon, just as the husband knew, she would. The wife started to tell everyone about it. As soon as the greedy sheriff heard the news, he began to think how he could get the money for himself. So he sent home some men of his men to the woodcutter's house. To the door. They said that any money found in the forest belongs to the sheriff. Shut the door. And the old man just shrugged you. his shoulders and said, What money? This is just some story my wife is telling. She tells stories all the time. They're not true. Ask her how he found it. So the sheriff's men called the man's wife in and she told them, Well, we were driving through the forest when we saw a fish up in the tree. Fish don't live in trees, said one of the sheriff's men. Oh, yes, they do now, said the wife. Then she, we saw a hare swimming in the river. This is all nonsense, said another of one of the sheriff's men. Sorry we bothered you, and away they went. So the old man and his wife got to keep their money, and it right. went happily ever after. The end. The end.